another main purpose of the text and just don't get caught up in coming up with it yourself. Let's just use the choices. Let's take a look. When classical pianist Mar Martha Argerich performs, it appears as if the music is coming to her spontaneously. She's highly skilled technically, but because of how freely she plays and her willingness to take risks, she seems relaxed and natural. So main ideas are repeated ideas. Spontaneous, uh, skilled, uh, free, uh, relaxed, natural. Her apparent ease, however, is due to a tremendous amount of preparation. Okay, so however, despite Argerich's experience and virtuosity, she never takes for granted that she knows a piece of music. Instead, she approaches the music as if encountering it for the first time and tries to understand it anew. So I don't quite understand that end part, but there's a lot of main ideas here, so or a lot of repetition of the main idea here, so let's just go to the choices. To provide details about how Argerich identifies which pieces of music she will perform. This has all the right words, but if we turn into a question, specifically thinking about the word how, do we have an answer to that question? How does she identify which pieces of music she'll perform? It's not saying what she chooses. It's saying when she's chosen a piece of music, what she does. But it's not like how does she choose? Like, oh, this one has a good melody. This one has inter interesting background instruments. I don't know. So if I turn into a question, I, I can't find that answer. That's probably a good sign that that's not the right answer because it should have that answer. Uh, B, to assert that Argerich's performances look effortless because of how she prepares for them. So does she prepare for them? Yes, it said that, right? She is um, tries to understand it anew. She never takes for granted. She knows a piece of music. It's about her preparation. So that's important. So why does it look effortless? Because it's due to the preparation, right? Her ease is due to it. It's like literally the, what the middle sentence is saying. So that seems pretty good, but as always, you know, there might be some trap I'm not noticing. Let's look at C and D and just confirm that B is right. To discuss the kinds of music Argerich feels most comfortable encountering for the first time. Well, no, right again, it turned that into a question. What kinds of music does she feel most comfortable most comfortable encountering for the first time? Doesn't say. Doesn't it, at no point do they ever talk about what kinds of music she's interested in or choosing or anything like that. It's just about her style, not about what she's actually playing. So this is, again, the same problem as A, basically. Uh, D, to describe the unique way that Argerich approaches music she hasn't performed before. This is very, very tempting. Um, so she's preparing. Uh, that part maybe, I don't know, this, this part here you might be able to say isn't right, but it's really that word unique, that strong word that, that stands out. Is this really unique? Right? We, we would need to, we need evidence of that. Is, is, this, is this Martha Argerich person very unique in how she approaches music. Is no one else doing this? Well, it says that she's doing it spontaneously. She's highly skilled. She's playing and she's taking risks. She seems relaxed and natural, but she's actually preparing. And no point does it say that this is like unique to her, right? We uh, maybe assume that because why else would we have this paragraph about how she does this? But that's a bad assumption, right? Just because we're talking about one example of something does not mean it is the only example of that thing. This is a very classic SAT trap. So the word unique needs to stand out to you, right? We need evidence that this person is truly special for what they're doing. It's impressive, but it's not unique. It's not only her. We don't know that. Or So B is a much safer bet here, right? Like, does it talk about how effortless it is for her? Yes. Does it talk about how she still prepares? Yes. But it makes no mention of what other people are doing and good because neither does the passage, right? So again, maybe this is obvious to you and you're, as you're going through, but you really, really want to have a, a clear sense of why you're eliminating answer choices if you're just crossing something out and saying, no, not that. Doesn't, no, it doesn't feel right. That's not a good reason. That's not a reason. That's a feeling, right? So the more you can have reasons for these kind of easier ones, the more prepared you will be for that hard module when things get crazy.